Hello everyone. Hope everyone's having a fabulous day. Nastasia M53, Fit Jock, Wanna N N all asked me to do a comparison between the Louis Vuitton Speedy 30, which is what we have here, and the Speedy 25, which we have here. And then I wanted to mention that Buckets and Brooms and Cape Cod Bell asked me to do uh, uh, what's, what fits inside the Speedy 25 and Modeling Shot. So that's what today's video is about. Most of my items are presently in this size 30, which means it's 30 centimeters across. This is absolutely huge. This is a great bag for travel, for work, for school. It is difficult to hold a lot of books, but it certainly holds a lot of your everyday items very well, plus then some. I wish that the side, the zipper went down just a little bit on the side to open it even more, but it's very, it's still generous and lots fit, in, fit inside. I keep somewhat organized using this, the MM size of the Louis Vuitton um, agenda, and I just wanted to show you how nicely it fits in the 30 also. The iPad 1 will fit inside the 30, but it's a tight squeeze. I would go with the size 35 if I wanted the iPad with me. That's just my preference. The mini iPad, of course, would work just fine. And I'm going to get the modeling shots over with. Uh, <laughs> and I do it because I, I know it's, it's very helpful to see what it looks like. I will either carry this 30 on my arm, like so. And surprisingly, this is a comfortable fit, but there are times where you need your hands free or you're just tired, and so you want to, I use the crossbody. And this is what she looks like here. On the back. I have the, all the strap in, so the additional, the middle straps attached also, so that it can use crossbody, but um, you could have it on the side also, nothing wrong with that. I hope that's helpful to show. And then what I'd like to do, since there was the request to show it all fits in the 25, I'm gonna take some of the items out of the 30 and show you how it fits into the 25. Again, this is how much room, there's still extra room. I did wanna show you, if you had a drink, that it fits fine in the 30. I try to keep it sitting up, because I don't want to I worry about spills. I would probably leave it unzipped, but it actually does fit inside. There we go. Now on to what fits into the 25. Um, I won't remember this later. I have a habit of having my clay outside the bag laying like this, and I think that looks very nice. I keep business cards in here, and so it makes it very uh, a quick access if I were to get a potential client or something. But I will show you that on the 25, it also works, but it hangs down lower than my preference. So I don't usually carry it on the outside of the bag. I just have another little, I'm not coordinated. I'm just going to put it on the other side. Here we go. There's nothing wrong with it, and I, I don't think it looks too bad per se. It just hangs slightly lower than the bag, and that just, I don't know. It's just not my preference. So what I do with this when I carry the 25 is I simply put the attachment inside and just stick it in the bag. I know I could put it on the D-ring, but I just, lately I've just been sticking it in the bag, which could put it on the D-ring. Awesome. Then, you know, on the 30, you have this little side pocket, which I stuff the heck out of it. I have a pick, I have a few tissues, and I keep a really flat, compact coach mirror. And I'll keep a wet wipe, a travel wet wipe, and I'm gonna keep gum. That is insane. It doesn't seem stretched out, but it probably will over time. I should, I should do better, as they say, but I want quick access to all these. I can't decide what I would go without. So inside the pocket, I'm not confident if they're the exact same size, but all the items do fit in, so I'm thinking it is. 
and that's what that's going to look like in my 25. You can already see the gap is not near as wide as what it's going to be on your 30. You probably can't see that. But I am amazed at still what fits into my 25. Okay. This MM agenda does fit in. I wanted you to see. You can't stick it in sideways, but you can stick it up and down. It goes all the way in. I will. It does leave room for other things that I'm going to show you, but it's heavier of course and it's difficult to get where you almost have to take items out to get to the agenda so I usually don't carry my MM agenda with me but what I'll show you after I get a few other items is I might take my small agenda it just depends or a lot of times when I take my 25 I'm using a briefcase type um, bag so the agenda would go into that I have in here, it's a medium, um, it's kind of new, uh, makeup bag. It's, I think it's a 19, it's the second to last size, and it is the absolute best makeup bag I think a person can have. And I also include one pen, especially when it goes into the 25, since I won't be caking my agenda, I need something to write with, and I'm so scared that the lid's going to come off and it's going to run the inside of the bag. So I have it in here. I have miscellaneous items in here and makeup. So that tape measure I always take with me, it's inside. Um, little scissors are inside. Uh, and then the little touch up makeup items. So it all fits in here, it's very compact. And that is going to fit just fine into my 25. Then, here's a water bottle. I'll show that at the end if it does fit. I don't usually use it like that. These are my shades. I want to put that in at the last. <clears throat> Here is a wallet. And I love the Emily because it's nice and, and flat. And so I use that almost always with my 25. But I wanted you to see that with the zippy, which is just not too terribly different, that fits very easily into the 25. Any full size wallet is going to fit just fine. You, you can't always stick it in sideways but it will go in vertically and then you can turn it. Also the insulate, which I find, this is not the organizer, but the regular size, uh, is a rather long wallet in comparison to others. Here it is with the Zippy. And then certainly with the Emily, it's longer. Hope you can kind of tell. And it fits just fine also into the 25. And so, again, you stick it in this way, and then it will fit sideways. It's really not a problem. But for my purposes today, I have it already stuffed, my Emily, so it's going to go in, and it will fit almost sideways. But it's going to go in at a slant, and it's going to go in. And when I pack the 25, I just try to keep the items standing and just stack them so I can open the bag and feel for the item that I'm most wanting. Okay, that, those are the two main items that will fit. I love the mini pochette. I know it's quite bulgy because I'm stubborn with my iPhone 5 and my keys to both fit in there. I've been doing that for quite a while and it's just a habit and it just helps me organizationally, so I do that. And I do like to have this attached. So I'm just gonna, show you how it's attached and then as I mentioned uh, my keys and it, they're quite bulky and my phone fit in there so I can find those items quickly now that's going to fit inside the bag I, it's just amazing how that fits the main problem I have with crossbody bags is when I have my shades. I wear prescription glasses, as you can tell, and I have prescription sunglasses. So I really want room for these. There's a lot of crossbodies where this fits, but I like that this easily fits into my bag, so that will always go. I was going to show you, here's the little mini uh, agenda that I could put in, but what I usually do is I have a little pad of some sort. This is from Poppin, and I like Poppin just because, and I know other Moleskin has this um, 
also the little band so that I can close up what I'm going to uh, and close the book up so it doesn't um, damage the papers but just something small just so I can have it to write on if I need to make a list or if I see something I like you know you understand when you just want to write something down so I've got the pen and my little uh, makeup bag and then I have something to write on and then I am really set to go sometimes if I am gonna I can kind of push all my items down or it's just let gravity take hold it's filled a little bit higher, isn't it, than in the 30. And then here's the water bottle. And forgive me, I have to just not let you see what I'm doing. But I just had to make room for the drink. It definitely has to stand up. You definitely, I do not recommend you zip it up if you have a drink. But I think you could. It almost stands up better in the 25 than the 30. I almost recommend it in the 25 because everything just has just room for it to fit and so it's more stationary and makes the drink more stable in your back and this is surprising I'm holding this up in an awkward position and it's not even heavy that is the main thing I love about the canvas bags is they're not heavy and I had promised that I would do modeling shots not my favorite but I understand the, <clears throat> the desire to see them again I would carry it on my arm here I would let this hang down. Um, it hangs down better if you don't have this other attachment on, but just so our purposes, sometimes I'll have it like this, but it's a little awkward, I, I guess, at the moment. Um, but for a crossbody, which is really what I use this 25 for, ah, it's just incredibly comfortable. You know, it, it's so low on me, I'm five foot two, that my hand can rest here, actually comfortable, it's not bulgy. And, but I can also, you know, push it back, um, and I can hold it up in front of me if I want. And it's really quick access to everything. So I never thought that I would want the 25, or I thought once I had the 30, why would I want the 25? Well, it's nice when you have to carry another large bag, whether for school or for work, and you just want your essentials in a bag. It works really well for that. It's very versatile. It still holds, as you've seen, what the 30 holds. It's just a little bit more difficult to get to the items because of this opening and, of course, the space, space reduction. And then I am a person who vacillates between practicality and just, but I really want this. I'm a perfect Gemini. And so uh, when you have the 30, the, the size 30, it really is functional for your crossbody bag. It is. And so I was thinking, I will just order the 25 and I'm going to try it on. And then I'm going to probably send it back. But I just really want to, to try the 25. And I was... I liked it, but it, it seemed like, oh, is this a little bag you stick your poodle in or something? Just like it's just small and just almost on the verge of prissy. But it kept growing on me, and I kept thinking, but it holds so much, and it's so dang cute. But the amazing thing is, on this 25, I was so shocked um, because it's, I'm sure it's not going to focus, so you're just going to take my word for this. But over here, it tells me that it's made in France. And I just, call, I'm in the States, I'm in Texas, and I just called and I ordered the bag and it came from France. It was just the most bizarre thing because when I was getting my 30, I called, I don't know where I get this time to do this, but um, I called, I don't even want to tell you how many Louis Vuitton stores asking if they had a 30 in store and in stock and I would call the 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 website and anyway no it was for the USA and and then it really wasn't a big deal because you can't really tell and it doesn't matter and the quality of the bag is just as good but when I did find out that this was from France there was no way this bad boy was going back so she is in my collection for sure. I hope this is what you're looking for. Those who were kindly requested uh, to take a peek at the 25. And I hope that um, I've shown you enough to see if this is something really to your liking. One more shot. You may not want to have a drink with you. Uh, but if I could say, you will need your phone, your keys, a makeup, or some little accessory bag to put all your 
miscellaneous items in, and then you're going to need a makeup bag. And, or excuse me, I said that makeup bag, excuse me, but your wallet, whatever size, and then your shades. You will definitely have room for that. I really, I really do like this bag. If you were to get only one, I would say the 30 because it's, it does even more for you. But if you were looking for a little crossbody, but you still wanted it to hold a lot, 25 is your way to go. Y'all take care. Love you. Bye.